Hallelujah. Beloved, it is another day. And it is by him alone that has done this. The Holy One of Israel, our Lord, our King, our Savior. And the Holy Spirit has waked you up, and you and I. We own our Lord thanks. We own him a praise. We own him for taking care of us. So beloved, it is time we pray unto our King. So shall we pray. Our Father, our Lord, our Shepherd, our Savior, Holy One of Israel, you have done it one more time for us by giving us a break. And we appreciate you. You are the owner, the King of glory. Without you, we cannot make it, Holy Spirit. You have waked us up in our various home. We thank you, covenanted God, miracle working God. May your name be adored and exalted forever and forever. In Jesus Christ, it is you alone that we give you all your glory. Forever, O oh Lord, your word is set. In Jesus Christ, your mighty name, I have prayed with thanksgiving. Amen. Beloved, it is another opportunity that our God, the almighty God has done this. He has given us a word. And the title of the message is a sincere love. Beloved, he alone has a sincere love. He paid a price for you and I on the cross. And who can do this? It is only him. So without wasting time, shall we go to the book of 1 Peter 122 and let us hear his word. Hallelujah. What a mighty God. So shall I read. 1 Peter 122 says, since you have purified your souls in, obey, in obeying the truth, through the spirit, in a sincere love of the brethren, love one another fervently with a pure heart. We should love one another with a pure heart since he has purified our soul by obeying the truth, which is the Holy Spirit in you and I. That means we obey the Holy Spirit in a daily basis. We communicate with him. He is inside of us. So as the Holy Spirit directs our path, First Peter is telling us, we should love one another. That is a sincere love. Sincere love means you might be misused or they will gossip about you, but you don't look at all these things. You are focusing on the master. It is only him that you trust. It is only him that you look upon. So we have to love one another. Christ our Lord Jesus Christ pay for our sins on the cross. And who can do this? There is no one. So we have to accept him as our personal savior for doing this for us. So beloved, it is only him that have a sincere love. We continue with another scripture. That is Luke 23, 34. We are going to the book of Luke to hear what Luke is saying. Oh, what a mighty Lord, the King of glory. 
Luke 23, and the verse is 34. We serve a mighty God. And I read book, the book, the, the book of Luke 23, and the verse is 34. Let us see what our king is telling us. Hallelujah. Then Jesus said, Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they do. Beloved, concerning the sin, that's why he died for you and I. And this is Christ telling us on the cross that his father has to forgive us. We have sinned. So he paid the price on the cross for you and I. Sincere love, First Peter says that we should love one another. And Christ came to show us the love and pay for our sins. Oh, beloved, Christ has done this. And also, who can do this for us? Stephen paid with his life. It was sincere love. So shall we go? to the book of Acts and the book of Acts 7, let us see it, the word of God. The book of Acts 7, 60. So shall we read? We are starting from 59 and we will end up in 60. And when they stoned Stephen, as he was calling, on God and saying, Lord Jesus, receive my soul. Lord Jesus, receive my spirit, brother. Then he knelt down and cried out with a loud voice, Lord, do not charge them with this sin. And when he has said this, he fell asleep. Beloved, this is a sincere love. So you and I, we have to love one another. Our savior, our king, our Lord, our shepherd, he paid the price for us while we were yet sinners. So beloved, we have to do what Christ is telling us. We owe him a thanks, hallelujah. How can we be sad or hang our head down or be distressed if we have a sincere love of him? Because he knows our hearts. May the Holy Spirit help us to change our, our wicked ways and be in tune with the Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, mighty Lord, have mercy upon us. Deliver us from all our afflictions. We continue with the last scripture, which is Revelation 4, 8. Let us hear the word of God in Revelation 4, 8. We serve a an awesome master Jesus, the owner of life, the one who created you. Hallelujah. King of glory, covenanted God. Take all your glory. Hallelujah. Revelation 4, 8. Let us hear the word of God. For the living creatures, each having six wings, were full of eyes around within him. And they do not rest day or night, saying, Holy, 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 Lord God Almighty, who was and who is and who is to come. This is a sincere love. And this takes place in heaven, the angels, Multitude, they are, they are around him, glorifying him. It's a sincere love. 
So this morning, what do you have for your brother? He has to do something for you before you love him. That is not a sincere love. We have to love one another. So this morning, the question is, do you have a sincere love? As Peter is saying, we should love one another. So the word has come. We have to amend our ways. The things that doesn't please him. We have to put it aside. Anything that will distract us from our God, we have to leave it. We have to show the sincere love, what he has done for you and I on the cross. Pay for our sins, not we alone, our children's children from generation to generation. So beloved, it is time we turn things around and love one another and stop being so envy about one another. Beloved, envy won't help you. Envy is a part of satanic agendas. Envy will take you to nowhere. So beloved, we have to show love, a sincere love of our Lord Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit, it is you alone that can help us in tune with you, that the word we read will transform our life. We need your help to help us so that in daily basis, you will teach us the word, the sincere love, so that anything we read from the word of God, you will let us understand. So may you establish it so that the sincere love will be in us, loving one another. It is only you that we have because you are the greatest teacher. You are the great friend. You are the great comforter. You are the great guide. And you are the one when Christ was living, he, he, gave, it, he gave us to you. So we need you. And as you are with us to the end of this world, Help us, Holy Spirit. We thank you, covenanted God. We give you all your glory this morning that the word has come. And we appreciate you for paying for our, our sin on the cross. That was a sincere love. Thank you. We appreciate. We honor you. We magnify the name. The name that is above every name. When we mention it, all need bow, including Satan and his demon. Thank you, Holy One, for giving us the word that is the sincere love. Holy Spirit, help us this morning. May your help that we need, may you bless the end time prophet, the wife, the children, and his viewers that listen to him in a daily basis. Oh, may their heart desire be met by you, Spirit of the living God. And I thank you, a vessel empty like this that you have used to magnify the word and to bless our Lord. Thank you, thank you, thank you. In Jesus Christ, your mighty name, your word has come forth. Amen and amen.